Hello once again. In the previous session, we have seen how to send a mail by using send SMTP mail message activity. But now in this session, we will learn how to send email dynamically along with a HR scenario. I will show you some use case related to the human resource that is related to the interviews. Okay. Another one, I will show you how to attach documents to the particular mail. And finally, we'll see how to draft email body dynamically. These are the three activities that what I'm going to do right now. Okay. Now, in the previous session, we have seen how to send a mail by hard coding the values. You can see the, if you see the properties over here, the two to which I have to send that have hard coded the values and the subject also I have hard coded and the body also hard coded. But right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make them dynamically. How can I go ahead and do that? Now, if you see, I'm having that name, email ID, status, and the date of joining. This is HR related in the company, right? So let us assume I have conducted some interviews in the company so that I'm having their name, email ID, and the status, they got selected or not. If they got selected, you know that when is the joining date of the particular person these are the details what we have now what is my agenda over here is that whoever has been selected i have to send them a mail saying that that congratulations you are selected and joining date is 21 april 2020 and who are rejected that i can simply say dear person uh, that they you know you are, for the interview process you got rejected that I have to say these kind of mails to the particular person. Okay, now how can I go ahead and do that? Now let me go to your path. First of all, to read the Excel, what is the activity that we are going to use? Excel application scope. We have already seen this Excel application scope in our previous sessions, right? Let me drag and drop this Excel application scope. And then I'm going to browse it. In the email, I have to read each and everything. That's the reason I'm going to using Excel application scope to open this email.excel. Once it has been opened, that I want to read each and every row of the particular Excel of the sheet one. Now, how can I go ahead and read that? By using read range activity, right? So where we'll find in the Excel, we'll find read range activity let me drag and drop onto the panel now if you see the properties that i'm having sheet one and i'm going to read the entire data by giving double quotes and where i can store the data table i can say in the data table by clicking on control k i will say output interview candidates and then i'm going to click on enter now if you see the variable I have, uh, I'm having open interview candidates, that is output interview candidates in the data table variable type data table. Now, to read each and every row from the data table, what is the activity that we are going to use? For each row activity, use this activity to read each and every row. Let me drag and drop for each row activity. Now, if you see the data table that I'm having a scope is due, now I will make it to the sequence, okay? Entire sequence, I'm going to use this one, okay? Now, what I'm going to do, whatever the row that I have, I will, I'm going, I'm going to each and every row that I'm going to get it from the output interview row candidates. For each and every row that I'm having email IDs, right? What I have to do, I'm already having these details, right? Now let me go ahead, let me uh, drag and drop these activities to drop panel. Now the row having in a such a way, this is the first row, this is the second row, third row or row zero, row one, row two, like that, right? Now each and every row, I will get it as in the row, row of zero is nothing but Amir, row of one is email ID, row of two is status and row of four is date of joining. Now what I'm going to do, I got each and every row. When the row is processing, now I have to make it once again, the body I have to send it, right? For the row, what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to delete this and I'm going to make it dynamically. Row of one dot two string. Okay. If you are not aware of this one ID, then what I will do, I will just give directly the column name. What is the column name? Email. I will go ahead and over here. I will give it as in the double quotes. I will give it as email. So what I'm going to do for each and every row, I'm going to send a mail. You know, one, if you see by default, I'm going to send it to all these things, right? Now, this based on the, if you observe over here, based on the selection status, I have to change the context, right? Now, what I will do, I will go for the if statement or if activity. If you can see under if, let me drag and drop if over here. Now, what we'll do string dot equal. If you see over here, there are two things. What is the value row of? I'm going to, if you see your row of status, I'm going to saying as, let me click on three dots, row of status, what I'm going to do, comma, I'm going to give dot to string, comma, selected. I'm just giving selected. What is mean by this? If the string is equal to selected, if it is true, then I'm going to say, okay, then I'm going to send a mail with a different format over here. If it is false, then I have to say some other value. Okay, over here that I'm going to take the selector and I'm going to go for the subject, sorry, you are not selected. Okay. Now let me explain you once again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to read each and every mail each and every record in the Excel by using Excel application scope. And then by using read range, I'm going to store the data in the data table that is output data table. Output interview candidates I have given as an output, right? Now, each and every row I have to send a mail based on the email ID. How can I go ahead and read that? By using for each row activity, I'm going to read each and everything. Now, if you see in the body, what is happening over here, if condition, if the status equal to selected, then I have to send to the particular email ID saying that congrats, you are selected. If it is false, then to the particular email ID, sorry, you are not selected. Now, I will show you some more thing over here. If you see the body also has to change, right? Now let me go to the properties of this. And now let me open this thing. Now, if you see over here, dear Basha, I have to also this body also, I have to make it at a dynamic, right? How can I go ahead and do that? Dear, I'm going to concatenate with row of, what you will find it out, you can see in the name, name is dynamically, I have to set it, right? Row, that is name, dot to string, I'm going to convert into that, into string format, right? Plus, I'm going to concatenate, comma, we are happy to inform you. You can see over here, we are happy to inform you that you are selected in the interview process. Your date of join is so and so date. When is the joining date? I can see over here another one, date of joining is the column. Now I'm going to take it saying that concatenate dot to string. This is the row of date of joining of to string, correct? Row of date of join dot to string. Now, if you see, uh, I'm having some like this, please find the, I'm going to say some more thing over here, concatenate. Please find the attached documents about company. I'm just giving all these things. It may be lengthy. Please be patient, okay? This is what I have given, okay? Now, if you observe, dear so-and-so person, we are happy to inform you that you are selected in interview. Your joining, date of joining is row of date of joining dot two string. Please find the attached documents about the company, okay? Now, in the same way, what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to give for the sorry also. Let me go to that this SMTP in the else part and then I'm going to the subject and then I'm just going to copy paste it. Here I'm we are sorry. We are very sorry to inform you that you are not selected in the interview. Right? And then I'm going to say I'm not going to do anything over here. Just I'm going to delete the remaining part. Okay. Now, if you see, we have seen all the things like that, you know, we have created the body dynamically. We have sent the mail dynamically based on the selected and we have moved to, you know, from one condition to another condition. Like if it is true, then we have to send some mail. If it is false, then we have to send sorry mail, right? Again, there is another one. If you see over here, the third, second part attachments. Now I have to send some attachments also. How can I go ahead and do that? If you see here, there's a property called attach, attach files. Now I'm going to the direction in and the value. What is the, you know, this is the value that we have to give, right? Where we can find this? This is the same value. You can see the company profile. I'm going to copy this. It is in PDF format so that I'm going to attach that PDF. Click on attach files and the direction I'm going to giving as in and the type you can see string and then in the double quotes I'm going to give the value company profile dot PDF file is the attachment and then I'm going to click on OK and you can see I don't have any attachments for the person who has been rejected. Now this is the entire HR process. Let me explain you once again the crispy way. Now this one also I'm going to move it to upside in the sequence the get password okay and then i'm going to add some more message box over here saying that ma uh, mail has sent successfully okay got it over here now let me explain you once again in the crispy way what i'm going to do by using excel application scope i'm going to open email excel that is which we are having name email id status of the interview on the date of joining so I'm going to read this entire Excel in the sheet one by using read range activity. And then I'm going to store that output of the data table in output ca interview candidates, right? So to read, to go through each and every row, what I'm going to use for each activity. Now, based on the, your condition, like status you are having, right? If you're selected, now you can go for the congratulations. If you're not selected, then you are going to send sorry mail without attachments. And if, it, if the person is selected, then we are going to send the mail with attachments. And you can see the two, the two row, if you see who have been selected, that we want to get the email, right? Row of email dot two string that I'm going to get it. And then the body also dynamically I have created by using on the names, right? Now you have seen all the things. Fantastic. Now our bot is ready. Now let me go ahead. Let me run the bot. The bot execution has been started. Excel sheet has been opened to read the entire data from here and then it will go to the bot to send the mails. Now if you see mail sent successfully, now I will show you the output how we will see the data. Now let me show you an output. See, for the Amir Bashar at Amir 86 that we got, congratulations, you are selected, right? Now, let me open the Excel once again. For the Amir, you can see the uh, status is selected and, uh, you know, date of joining so-and-so and we need to send some attachments. But I have changed a little bit over here, like, you know, for the Learning Technologies 2020, I have given the status as rejected and uh, there is no date of joining for this person. He, uh, right and then we don't have any attachment for the remaining things these are all the dummy email ids so that we will give get mail delivery error in the mail let me show you that you can see over here amir basha congratulations you are selected now you can see the attachment also over here you can see right dear amir we are happy to inform you that you know you are selected in the interview and you can see the dynamically your date of joining is so and so thing Please find the docs about the company. This is the document. And what about if the person is rejected? You can see over here. You can see there are the rejections also. Right? 
if you see in the rejections, dear Vishwa, we are sorry to inform you that you are not selected, right? That's the mean and we don't have any kind of attachments over here, right? This is how we are going to send the data dynamically. In this session, we have seen how to send an email by using send SMTP mail message activity dynamically. And also we have seen how to attach the files. And also we have seen how to create the body dynamically. Thank you for watching your past tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.